I think with lions, it's very easy to get really drawn towards them. Sometimes we've seen some lions, you know, since they were cubs, and now they are controlling territories. It's very easy to fall in love with them, and you know, they're quite a sight to behold. The main threats facing lions around this area are habitat loss. This is as a result of putting up of fences, population increase, and also encroachment by livestock. The human-wildlife conflict, which is a, also a big threat as it leads to killing of predators when they attack livestock. Human-wildlife conflict is a big challenge. One of our program's role is to try and work with communities to enhance the interaction between people and predators. Now to do that, we adopt various mitigation measures that help to protect livestock. A typical Maasai comes into contact with wildlife on a daily basis. But his love for his cattle is quite evident in the sense that he's ready to risk his life to protect livestock. With support from WWF, we are able to help other people who are suffering from losing their livestock due to predator attacks. The lion lights are a key asset or a key tool to prevent predators from attacking livestock. I am John Kadidi Olemboe. I'm a pastoralist. I keep cattle, sheep and goats. We keep livestock in order to provide us livelihood. It is something very precious to me. The cost of one cow is sufficient to pay for the school fees and the necessary needs of the child. We got almost every night a disturb of lions or leopards jumping over the fence, penetrating through the branches and kill the number of kids and lambs. Unfortunately, one of my big bull eaten by lions just, uh, just within this area. And so we usually get such problems of predators. We heard from our friends in Kajado have uh, deterrent lights that scared predators away. And we requested WWS, which are our partners, to share cost uh, buying of uh, such uh, deterrent lights. Since we place them in the fences, there are no longer predators which are attacking livestock in the night. I think it is something that will force them to hunt zebras, gazelles, and many other wildlife. Having deterrent lights, it has reduced human wildlife conflicts because uh, they don't attack our livestock, so we are living peacefully with them. The lion lights are a new technology. In the previous years, you know, people used to put up fires to scare away predators. But the lion lights are more efficient because they use solar power. There's also one light that is included in the package that is put inside the house. They provide light that is much needed, which now replaces the use of kerosene, which had, you know, all health issues due to the smoke emitted. It helps children to study. As you know, this area is not yet hooked to the electricity grid. I think the lion lights have really been a key tool that has changed how livestock protection happens and as well as human well-being in Africa. And this also will ensure that their attitudes towards predators is improved because they now feel that someone cares about their livestock as well rather than just about predators. A lion is something precious. We can realize that these animals are friendly to us. We get tourists through them, and we get partners like WWF and many other partners which are doing community development through such animals. Even if they make a kill of my livestock, I just scare them away because I understand the value of those animals. I teach my children to know the importance of keeping or protecting wildlife. Every time when we sit together, when I discuss with them how to live a better life, I have to mention about the protection of wildlife is also very important for the present generation and the generation to come. Lions to Kenyans, it is our pride. <laughs>